Okay, in the next set of videos, we're going to be talking about the classification of soils um, and building up from first principles some of the, the parameters that we use to describe soils. Um, so we've known pretty much uh, since antiquity that soils have a range of different characteristics, but it's only relatively recently that we've uh, formalized that description. So what we need to do really to, to be able to describe um, soils in a, in, a, in a meaningful way, in a, a way that's, um, that can be modeled, is to take the huge range of complexity that exists and, and bring that complexity down into a simple model. And the first step is this uh, three-phase model. So we take that complexity that ex exists in soils and we just describe soils in three phases. So we describe soils as having a, uh, a solid phase, which is uh, all of the mineral matter, all of the uh, organic matter um, that exists in soils. So that's our solid phase. Soils also have a, a liquid phase in this three-phase model. Um, and for most soils, that's just water. Um, and soils also have a gas phase. So, uh, and, the, and for, for most soils, that's just air. So what do we know about these three phases? Well, we know that they all have a mass um, and they all have a volume. So we can describe them, um, describe uh, these three phases in terms of their mass and volume. So let's get rid of this. And let's talk about their, their mass. So the solid phase has a mass and we can describe that in terms of a parameter. So instead of writing mass of solid, we can just write M for mass and subscript S to no donate the, the solid phase. Um, the liquid phase has a mass, capital M, um, and we give a subscript W, mass of water. And the gas phase has a mass. M, A, and the mass of A. Um, now the assumption that we make um, in soil mechanics is that mass of air is equal to zero. Um, obviously it has mass, but relative to the other two phases, that's pretty much true. So we assume that the mass of the air is zero. Okay, so they have a mass. We can also describe their volume. So the solid has a volume, volume S, or the volume of the solid. The liquid has a volume, EW, the volume of water. And the air has a volume, the A, volume of air. The, the volume of the air and the volume of the water make up together the volume of the voids, so the void space within soils. So this together is the volume of the voids. So we've now got a uh, three-phase model of soils uh, where we can describe the mass and the volume. So what we do next is start taking those basic properties of soil and start building up a uh, some more complex parameters or some more, some more useful parameters.